Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of the Buoyancy Interactive Illustration from the Science Primer blog. The illustration explores the relationship between objects' volume, mass, and density, and how this relationship determines whether or not an object will float or sink in water. A link to the illustration can be found in the description. The illustration must be initialized before it can be run. Clicking on the Set Reset button does this. There is a speed controller across the top. Depending upon the processing power of the computer you are using, you may or may not need this. Once initialized, the model explores changes in a block's buoyancy as its mass and volume change. Manipulation of mass and volume are done with the sliders below the main window. Some additional information can be displayed in the main window. The on-off switches to the right control this. To begin, click the Set Reset button. This brings up an image of a red block suspended in a container of water. The blue line indicates the water level. Initially, the block has a mass of 500 grams and a volume of 500 cubic centimeters. This gives the block a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter. Since the liquid the block is in is water, and water also has a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter, the block is neutrally buoyant and fully immersed in the water. For the illustration to be responsive to adjustments of mass and volume, the Run button must be selected. So now holding mass constant and increasing the volume makes the block positively buoyant, causing more and more of it to be suspended above the water level. The volume can also be reduced. Once the volume is less than the mass, it sinks. Again, exceeding the mass causes it to float back to the surface. Volume can be held constant and mass adjusted. At any given volume, the greater the mass, the lower the block sits in water, until eventually it is fully immersed and sinks. The switches to the right toggle on information about the block in the main window. The mass and volume switches show these both mass and volume with units included. Density can also be shown. Again, since the block is in water, a density greater than 1 gram per cubic centimeter will cause it to sink. At densities below 1 gram per cubic centimeter, it floats. The lower the density, the higher the water, the higher in the water the block will float. Given that the block sinks into the water to a point at which it displaces the amount of water equal to its own mass, we can see that if the mass of the object is equal to half its volume, it will be half submerged. The show percent submerged switch will toggle on this information. Again, as the ma at a set volume, as the mass increases, the pr proportion of the block submerged also increases. The upper switch on the right shows buoyancy as a relationship between the gravity and buoyancy forces acting on the block. Turning show forces on brings up two vectors and their values. The upward pointing vector is the buoyancy force. This causes the object to float. The downward pointing vector is the force of gravity. When the forces are equal, the block is fully submerged and neutrally buoyant. If the volume is increased, the buoyancy force increases and the block rises above the water level. If the mass is increased to a point where the force of gravity exceeds the buoyancy force, the block sinks. 
This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching and enjoy the illustration.